alarming stat was Matt Manning's start. Three innings, six hits, five runs, two walks, two strikeouts, and a lot of home run. And he didn't just didn't look good. Mason Engler, who has continued to look well in camp, there's a pot to me. There's an interesting theory here with this. If I mean, obviously, he probably might. Well, if he sticks on the team, he'll come out of the bullpen. But what if? Saying what if he ends up being this team's sixth starter? And you know, because Manning, I don't know what Manning was clocked at because they didn't have the stat cast yesterday. So I want to know what he, if it, if he was creeping up towards 90, 92, 93, 94. And I didn't see anything as of yet about that, but he looked bad. But Brendan White came in, two hit, just a lot of two hits and stri- had a strikeout. But again, I don't know. Were you guys concerned? Are you guys concerned about Matt Manning? No, we get to, if we get into that final week of spring training and he has another outing similar to this, I guess I suppose it could be concerned. But I, I have to. I always have to measure everything against what the expectations are for the season itself for the team. You know, my expectations are low, so they can let him work his way into form once the season starts. I, in my opinion, and now whether they share that opinion or not. They want to be, you know, everybody full go at the beginning. I get it, but I don't know if that's realistic. Yeah, like I said, it's spring training. You could be – I saw Stan's comment. You could just be working on things. But he's only thrown six and a third innings. That's essentially one start. Like, are we really going to, you know, raise an eye over essentially one start? So, I, I think it's too early to really be concerned about anything. Well, the reason why I bring it, bring it up is because his stats, I mean, in terms of his spring training stats so far have not – have not looked good. And so that is kind of in terms of that snapness of the curve, the, the going to even his fastball hasn't looked that good. So that that's the only reason why. I mean, in small sample size, take away the numbers for a moment. Just don't look at the numbers, but look at the movement. Look how he's pitching. Look how he's sequencing. And I just don't, again, mm-hmm. you know, it just could be he's working on things. And so, Maybe that's just as simple as that. So I, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to, again, I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it, but it is also kind of alarming. Again, I mean, against, the, I mean, they, they teed off of them and the Tigers rallied to come back. So that's what I was uh, bringing my concern. So what's he going to get? Three more starts, you think? It's halfway through. Think, so yeah, it makes about right, right? Yeah. Opening day is 18 days away, I think. Yeah. That's all right. Um, so yeah, maybe so- just two. Well, so let's see. He started on Saturday, so that would be 19 days. Where, uh, I would think three more, yeah. And then he'd be right there for his fourth start uh, in the actual regular season. But uh, I don't know. You know I've, I, I've been concerned about man manning for years. It became an old bit, basically, <laughs> a couple <laughs> years ago. Uh, but I don't know. Like, it, it's always tough. I've seen enough spring training ups and downs to know that, like, it really ultimately doesn't necessarily matter. Like things we're talking about right now could not, you know, they're just not going to carry over or they could, I don't know. I, I remember one year, Justin Verlander, his velocity, he was having trouble getting over 93 and everybody's like, ah, oh, it's Verlander. He'll be fine. He'll get it over. And then he just struggled all year and it was like, huh, I wonder what was going on there. So I don't know. We'll see. It, it's all things being equal. You'd rather have your pitcher not get, uh, tattooed by yeah. another team. Yeah. And, and like if it's a real competition, I would it, it I would think right now that maybe Joey Wentz is a little bit ahead of Matt Manning. Uh now Wentz actually was like a piggyback starter the last time he pitched and he got into some trouble leaving I think he left a, a cutter and a change up up over the, the plate. But he also got like a dozen swings and misses and was missing bats with his fastball over and over again, which was good to see. So I don't know like I'm I'm mildly concerned about Manning, but also I think he could be replaced fairly easily if if there is an issue there. So I'm not too concerned overall for the team. Yeah, and I, I penciled him originally on the rotation, but there's no reason why the Tigers couldn't go or Tigers could use somebody else like Brisky or Hill and just have Manning start the season in Toledo if they wanted to do that. And I, I don't I, again, it's not like a foregone conclusion that he's in the rotation because he's etched in stone, and because of his draft status, I get that. And oh, Aiden, good good to see you on the YouTube chat there. But yeah, I, honestly, like I just don't. It shouldn't be a foregone conclusion. It should be you carry your five best pitchers up north. It's as simple as that. 